Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter. Um, again, not doing my normal format. Um, I am, everything is stacking up and I figured this is the best way to knock it all out or the bulk of it out that I want to have been wanting to share with you and just haven't had the time to record, let alone edit. Um, this is going to be a collective haul from quite a few places. Um, I have an update on the winners from my first giveaway, so I'll be giving uh, sharing that shortly. And um, let's see. I was hoping I could see my... Uh, there we go. That's what I want to see easier. Um, there's nobody watching so far, so I'm just going to kind of sort of take my go. time and That's turn that want. down. So, the, the update on the winners. I did hear from um, one of she uh, our first prize she actually accepted the fifty dollar prize because she already had the heat wave. Our other winner, um, I want to say Devalicious Crafter. Hold on, I apologize. Uh, yeah, Devalicious Crafter. I have not heard from her, and it's been seventy two hours. Um, I did uh, directly reply to her comment on the original post, so. Those uh, items, the heat wave, the foil, the stamps, those are going to be rolling over to the next uh, giveaway, which is my 500 subby that I'll be doing. And I'm assuming it's probably going to be the end of October, 1st of November. So that is the update on these items. Yes, I have a lot of stuff up here. So all of these items are going to be rolling over to the next giveaway because I did not hear from our second winner. And I'm going to enforce the 72 hour um, response that we put that was put out there. So now that's an additional giveaway for the 500 giveaway. Um, let's get started because I have a lot to show. If you want to grab a snack or something to drink, that might be a good idea. Uh, we're going to start with some items that I found at Walmart, and you'll understand why in just a minute, because I placed an order that I forgot I placed, and, well, yeah, you're going to you're gonna love it. So, um, I have tons of storage for beads and sequins and stuff, but I found these other items at the Honeybee Stamp Store. And they're a little more bulky, so I was looking for something bigger, but not, like, too big. And I found this bead storage case at Walmart as I was walking by. It just kind of, like, happened to see it out of the corner of my eye. And I want to say I only paid, like, 4 or $5 for it, amazingly. And there, so there's the box. And then there are 12 of these containers. And so I was pretty excited about that. I think that'll fit really good in my um, Ikea drawers. And then I found these round stackable containers. Um, there's a four pack. I would want to say these were like three or four dollars a piece, but they uh, come, you know, top one comes off and then each one on top is the lid for the one below. So that can be a pro and a con. I mean, kind of, sort of. Um, if you're a messy crafter, which I can be at some times, but, um, so I found those. That's all I got at Walmart. And I bought those because this purchase from Honeybee Stamps. They were running a sale. I want to say it was, uh, Labor Day weekend. And I've been really wanting to bulk up my shaker... Um, stash and so I did and the stuff I found is pretty amazing they <laughs> they included this cute little bee stamp I don't know I haven't even opened it up yet so 
sorry. I know it's noisy. And, well, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bee stamp in there. Super cute, like their little logo. Um, I'm not going to fight it because we have a lot to get through. But So there was that. That was a little freebie. And I got all of that, y'all. Um, sorry, we're on my phone, and so the, the stand isn't as stable. And they had so much wonderful stuff. I had a hard time choosing. This was almost all in their clearance section. So I found these turquoise abalone shells. And I think I only ended up paying like a dollar something a piece for the bulk of this stuff. But aren't those gorgeous? So I found them in this turquoise. Um, this island color. It's got like a smoke color to it. Then we have natural. So I think I got two of just all of Oh gosh, this shaking is going to drive me crazy. So, and uh, so yeah, I think I grabbed two of all of these abalone versions. And then I also got it in, and I thought these would be really pretty in some of my shamans in some of the projects that I do. So I got those. And then they had this sand called Desert Oasis and um, I do a lot of beachy themed stuff so I thought that would be fun to include and then they had these they call them dew drops and I thought the color selection was really pretty um, so this one's called Peacock so grab two of those I only grabbed one of this one and this is called Golden Sun Then we have Dirty Denim, and I love this one. Um, I grabbed two of those, and I think I'm going to order some more, but I just think those colors are absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Then they have what they call Tiny Bubbles, and they aren't kidding. These packs are super teeny tiny, but I think they're going to go a long way. Um, this one's called Storm Cloud, and I don't, like, we're talking teeny, teeny, tiny. But I, I, I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with these. So I got them in Storm Cloud, Deep Ocean, and again, I think I grabbed like two of each of these. Then, okay, those are something different. Then we got Champagne. I thought those were really pretty. We have Coastal Fog. I love the color selection that they have, the mix they have going on in these. They're really, really, really pretty. Those are something else. Then we have some sequin mixes, and this one is the Christmas cheer. I thought these were really fun. It's not your traditional um, Christmas, you know, like red, green, white. Um, it's got a little bit of blue, a little bit of pink in it. Super fun, like that. Then I picked up terracotta, and I think I'm going to get some more of this one. I really like it. It's got some, I don't know if you can see it, there's like little flowers in it, little bead, chunk beads. There you go. you got some bead mixes and everything, really pretty. Then I picked up cloudy day, and uh, so I'm really loving the mix they have going on in these. And then we have Honeybee, which I would say is pretty appropriate for their, their store name. But so that reason why I purchased all of those containers. And then I also picked up, these are, yeah, these are all the same. I want to only open up one of them. There's only three, well, maybe I'm not. My husband took my scissors. Gosh darn it. Hold on a second. I'll just. So. Like there's only three in each one, but they're super cute. They're kind of like the size of like uh, the charms for like origami owl. And, and um, I thought I had grabbed the collection that had multi colors in it, but I didn't. So I'm going to have to go check that out. So there's those. Oh, and then 
I found these. This is the Silver Starfish. I hate using my teeth, but there's three of this one as well. And so, yeah, so these are going to go in some of my shaker cards. I only got one set of that. I'm going to have to order more of those. So anyway, that was the Honey Bee stamp haul that um, I got. So let me get all this out of the way because we still have quite a bit to go. I just, I've got to get all this put away. I, I can't function with <laughs> everything that's out here now. Sorry. And those all set aside. Then I put an order. I can't remember. I'll have to hunt down. Um, she's a planner. Um, she has a web. And um, I'm just calling, darn it. Um, I love pens. Like, I am a total pen junkie. I have such a massive collection, it's not even funny. But anyway, she was showing these pens. They're called, the brand is Pen, and their little logo is this little penguin. And so, like, even got the little card for pen gems, and then even, even the little paper clip is the same penguin. So he's super, super cute. I will say they're kind of pricey. They're $10 a piece. Well, they average 10. These were 10 to 13 a piece, I think. And um, I think $35, they give you free shipping. So this one's called uh, London, I wanna say this one's London Times. And it's got a cute little gem on the top of it. Um, it's called London's Calling. So there's that one. And then we have Havana Cabana, After Party, That's So LA, Aloha, and Caribbean Blue Airbrush. So, yeah. I'm not going to pull them all out. I just very pens, super pretty rose gold. And I love, love rose gold, so I was excited to find that one. So these are the pens I picked up so that is that and then they included um, all these free refills which I was not expecting so I was excited about that so that is one of my purchases I will clean all this mess up later let's get into some Aliexpress so don't want to lose that. I don't like to open stuff up, but I didn't even realize I ordered this, but I'm glad I did. It's super cute, but it is Christmas washi, and um, it's actually really pretty. Me, I love the colors in it. It's kind of not like in your face, but just a lot of fun. So I picked that up. Most of the washi I get on Ali, I think I pay around a dollar for, which I mean, really isn't any super deal, but it kind of widens your, you know, what you can uh, pick up. Then I got this little sequin mix. I thought this would be fun in some kind of unicorn shaker or something that I might do. And I don't know what if this is a branded dye or not. But everybody I've seen make these super cute little unicorn deals use this set. So it's the, it's the horn, the ears, or a ear, your lashes, more lashes, and then you've got your flowers. And um, this is to decorate those, what, gable boxes, I think. And I'll have to find some samples and somehow link them down below so that you guys can see um, some of what people have been creating. But I thought that was really cute. So I picked that up. Then there was also this unicorn eye set that some people might recognize. We have people popping in and leaving. I know. I'm. So this is that little, like, chunky, fat little unicorn that uh, some people have been putting out there. 
the eyelashes, the little flower, the mane, the tail. I think that's supposed to be her feet. So I, it's, it doesn't really look like it, but it makes a really cute little unicorn. So that's that one. And I'm not a unicorn person, even though I adored them as a little girl. I had unicorns all over the place, but uh, my daughter wasn't into them. So I guess that's kind of how I fell out in love with them. So, and then I love to use hair sticks to put my hair up. So I picked these up. These are really hot. So when you do, they're really not that pretty, but, um, I think I only paid like maybe $2 a piece. So you have the green, black, and a rosewood. And they're really like solid and strong. So I don't have to worry about it breaking when I'm trying to put my hair up. So I was excited to find those. And we keep losing people. So there's that. Then we have these like uh, action dies. Like if you want to add like slider elements to your cards. So you have the different, these allow you to add some slider elements to your cards. So like that one die set I used the other day that had the, uh, or the stamps that I showed the other day that had the roller coaster. So like I could make the little cars move on the roller coaster. So I picked that up and then you have these uh, little embossing. So like I could put this on one of my cards and that cute little bee stamp from Honey Bee Stamp either at the beginning or the end so it looks like you see his little path flying through the card so there's that then I picked up these uh, it's like a double stitch um, cloud dies it's it's a set of three most of my uh, AliExpress I usually never spend more than uh, three dollars some of the really big stuff I have a couple that i've spent a little bit on but these are all different type clouds and they're double stitched on either side so if you're cutting the top portion of your card stock it'll be stitched up top or if you're keeping the bottom it'll be stitched on the bottom so either way you're getting detail on both sides of your die cut so there's that then we have these dies here, and so they could be, they're waves, grass, and like a little hillside, kind of, sort of. So you've got your grass, you got your little wavy hill, and then you have your little waves. So it can go up like that, or like that. So you get two different directions for your waves. So pick those up. Then we have some frame dies and a tag die here with tons of little bits. So you get the, the die cut, the stitching, the scallop edge on the inside. You have three different sizes in those dies. Then you have your tag die and then these allow you so you can uh, cut little hearts into it so well these are little pennants little hearts little stars or flowers then you can put in two from an arrow and then you have your little like grommet die so that you can reinforce the hole up here at the top for your um tag so this lets you kind of change up your dies a little bit. So I thought that was a neat little set for just a couple of dollars. So there's that. Then we have this round scallop stitch with some more action slides. Um, so as you can see, like the square, it's got a scalloped outer edge, your stitch detail, and then it cuts um, the inside out so it's a frame. So you also have your circle that you can use as a back, and then this is a frame. So this is really good for a shaker die. That comes in two sizes. And then we have two different slider elements um, 
for the different sets. So the little bee could actually fly around if he wants to or whatever else I decide to use with that set. So there's that. Then I, I've been looking for one of these for quite some time and I tried using like the back of like my some of my solid stamps and it just didn't work. I'm hoping this one's going to but and it doesn't look like anything wonderful but with this particular stamp you can use this to do mirror imaging stamping so like if you have a deer that's facing one direction so his head's facing this way but you really want him to face that direction you would this is so stupid you would stamp him down onto this stamp well it's going to leave an impression on this particular uh photopolymer so then when you come down and you stamp him a second time it's almost like a second generation stamping your your deer is now going to be facing the direction you want or you can have them kissing each other depending on how you want that to be so i was really excited to find this i just kind of stumbled across it when i was on alley and yeah so i grabbed that i hope it's a good quality uh stamping but when i try it i'll definitely let y'all know and show you how that turned out okay i know there's more alley here somewhere yep so um i said i won't do branded stuff but this actually has the correct branding on it so that's why i'm going to show it i love hello kitty i like the traditional hello kitty i don't like the pink hello kitty you know the red and white traditional yellow kitty is what i love and you can find some actual Sanrio on AliExpress. And so I picked up Hello Kitty Washi. It took over a month to get here. So I was a little frustrated with that. Um, if you're patient, um, you can find really good deals there. You just have to be patient because it can take sometimes two months for your purchases from AliExpress. But I thought that was super cute. It's kind of muted. It's not like really bright. But um, I thought that was a cute washi, so I grabbed that. Um, so there's that. Then I grabbed this tag set. This one has a lot of elements to it. This has some bows. It lets you change up the end of your die. Come on. I think I paid like four dollars for this particular set but it comes with quite a quite a few pieces so there's your basic die then you have your die to cut your little hole up top then this one cuts your reinforcer so that you can reinforce the hole that you cut so you can place it wherever you want um, it comes with this element so you can make um, you have your square in your circle so you can make little shaker elements in the center of your tag um, it comes, um, this is the bow part of your ribbon, and then it'll fold over. This wraps around, and then there's your little, what do you know, the bottom of your ribbon, you know, so it sticks out, so there's that. And then these pieces here I thought were pretty neat. This will allow you, if you want to, instead of using the, like what do you call it, the forked, I forget what you call it, the forked part at the bottom of the tag, you can actually change it up. So you can make it, like set it down here and cut it so you have a different edge or change it and move it up like that or have a scalloped bottom either down here or at the top, however you want to alter it. But these two dies here let you alter the shape of the tag and I thought that was pretty neat. So there's that. I just hope I don't lose all these little pieces. See, that's the pen gem. It's empty, empty. Like I said, I'm, I'm trying to show everything so I can actually put it away. Then I had completely forgotten that I'd entered a giveaway uh, a little over a month ago, I guess. Um, I believe it's called Wild Design. She's, she's really neat. I love her channel. Um, at the end, I'll go find the link to her... Um, YouTube channel and include it below for you to go check her out, but she's really awesome. But um, I won. 
And so I won this cute little mama elephant uh, stamp set with these little penguins and the matching dies. I thought that was pretty cool. And so um, I can't wait to play with those. And then she included these little samples of uh, glitter cardstock. I want to say they're Lawn Fawn. So I can't wait to play with these. These are going to, and they're Christmas colors, so I'm really excited about that. So yeah, Oak Wild, I want to say it's Oak Wild Design. I'll have her link below. Go check her out. She's a really great channel. Interesting, wonderful stuff. So, so yeah, love her, love her. And um, so there's that. Then, the last of my Amazon dies that I've been waiting for. I found, I've been, this took forever to come to. This is the Tag Book Pop-Up Card. So it folds in half here, and when it opens up, everything pops out like a, kind of like a trifold card. And um, awesome. So then you get all the decorative elements here to add into the, the little, basically it's a mini album is what it is. So... Uh, 17 pieces. Again, we know I like Karen Berniston. So, so yeah, so there's that. And you can alter it for any holiday you want. And so playing with that one. Then I picked up, I meant to share these the other day. I'm picking up quite a bit of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. And I was trying to figure out a good way to store it. And I know Jennifer McGuire uses um, job ticket uh, pockets um, to store. And I was able to find these on Amazon. And I think it was only like five something a pack for 20. And this is the cheapest I found it. It's a really, excuse me, sturdy material. So I'm going to cut off the, uh, I think I'm going to cut off the top of these job tickets. Um, up here. So the eight and a half by 11 can store down here. I'm going to cut this off and then I'll probably uh, do a, a punch like a half circle so that I can mark the side with the color so I can see exactly what I'm looking for. So I grabbed five of these, so basically a hundred pockets. And um, I'll try and include the link after um, this is done so that y'all can go check them out if this is something you're looking for. And um, so, yeah, and, and, and once I start moving stuff over, I'll let you know how sturdy they are. But I really like the material. It's pretty thick. Um, and it's, granted, it's not clear, but that's all right, because I, like I said, I'm going to um, attach a sample on the outside of the pocket. So there's that. And when I showed y'all the boring haul that I was excited about with the chipboard, I meant to show this. Um, yes, it's black cardstock, but it's uh, linen cardstock. And uh, y'all can see my reflection. Um, linen cardstock is really great if you're making the mini albums because it's, you know, when you're using your, your cardstock and the more you bend it, the weaker it gets. And um, eventually it just starts tearing. Well, linen cardstock is. Um, much stronger. It's going to last longer. Um, it has a texture feel, which I love. Um, a lot of companies have gone away from the textured cardstock, which made me kind of sad because I think it gives a real, uh, a more organic feel to your projects. So, um, picked up three packs. Well, actually, three in the twelve by twelve, and then a pack in an eight and to be using on the. Those Christmas projects I mentioned. And finally, super, super excited. The paper started coming in for my Christmas projects. Uh, wait. Well, actually, this one's for me. Y'all know I adore Graphic 45. And I've been hunting this. I'm still trying to get all of of it I'm getting it piece by piece but I will have it and uh, I'm so excited but um, I found these on Etsy I want to say it's creations to go um, I'll link the Etsy shops that I and I hunted these down um, but anyway steampunk spells 
and it's of steampunk and Halloween. And again, like I said, y'all know I don't like Halloween, but I really love uh, the collection, this particular collection. So the colors are just stunning. I mean, they just pop, I mean, jump off the page at you. Um, so there's her and the gear. And this is like color, but I love it. Then we have more gears, more gears or cogs or whatever they're called. And we have our cut aparts. Love, love, love these cut aparts. And then there's the back of them. I love these air balloons. And then the little corsets. I mean, you, quick glance, you almost think Harley Davidson when you look at that one. But <laughs> anyway, um, then we have some little cut aparts here. Again, it's like a steampunk Halloween theme going on with this one. And I, I think I showed this in another one, but uh, this is just more of that paper because I can't seem to find it all um, in one uh, like purchase or location. So I'm like buying it all over the place. I love these black hats. I hope the colors are coming across. They are because they are pretty. More cut aparts. When black cats prowl and pumpkins gleam, May your May's Halloween. So something wicked this way comes. Yeah. Um, my pretty air balloons. I want so much of this particular pattern. I just love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And this is really pretty. This kind of reminds me of Harry Potter. And the icky spider clocks. So there's that. So that's one collection. And then, so there's, I'm not gonna show that one because that's just more of the same. Then, um, trying so hard to get more of this one. This is that Cityscapes I mentioned a couple hauls ago. Um, I was able to get the tags and pockets from Tuesday morning. But this definitely, you know, the little trolley car, Model T's and A's or whatever the heck they are. Cute postage stamps, got stripes on the back. Different locations and street names. Got some, well, red blueprints here going on. So, Graphic 45, they just, just have the most beautiful color combinations and I have yet to find, well, I take that back. They have collections that I really have no desire. They're not ugly. They just don't appeal to me. Uh, but it's very rare. Another glitch. So, love this. This kind of has that um, 20s art deco going on with it. And I really like that. All these wonderful postage stamps. And everybody that's here... Um, I want to say hi. If you want to say hi back, uh, I believe the chat is open and running. If you have any questions, I'll answer them. I know when, you know, it's just a, a video post, you can't ask any questions. So I'll answer if I can. I love this. It's like the mapping of the cities and stuff. So really pretty. Some cut aparts. The last one to this so some pretty cut aparts love love if I'm going too fast please let me know like I said there's a lot here and I just I, I don't want to bore you and at the same time I, I want to share so that I can actually put it away so that was cityscapes this set is called um, steampunk debutante 
and I was really excited to get this one. This is supposed to be the Gotta Have It All collection, but it, it's not because it doesn't include the patterns and solids. So I'm gonna have to try and hunt down the patterns and solids, and I don't think it includes the pockets and tags either. But we have the beautiful chipboard to this collection. It's basically a feminine steampunk is what this particular collection is. Just gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Then we have our 12 by 12 um, sticker sheet, sticker embellishment sheet. And the detail, again, the detail of Graphic 45 is just stunning. I mean, they do not skimp on the detail. These beautiful roses. And so this particular, I have the whole paper collection, again, minus the patterns and solids. So we have cut aparts on this side. So... Then we have more of the crow or raven or whatever the heck this is supposed to be. They don't look very happy, do they? And then look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's kind of weird too, the little, the lady with the, uh, no, her leg over there with that ugly bird. Anyway, so there's that. More of the gears and cogs more I think she's so beautiful I don't speak French so I don't know what that's I don't know how to say that so I'm not even gonna try because I don't want to destroy it that says flirt I can read that flirt biscuits I don't know what the rest is but hey These butterflies are gorgeous. Again, more of the beautiful uh, Victorian ladies going on here. Her wings, not too fond of the wings, but hey. And I am so glad we don't have to wear corsets because that just looks like a torture device to me. Uh, no desire to wear that whatsoever. Yeah, that just looks painful. So, so there's that. We have our airships and dirigibles and hot air balloons. Some weird flying contraption right there. And I think that's supposed to be Da Vinci. I'm not quite sure. But it doesn't look like he's very successful. He's got some flying fish. Some more beautiful roses and I like the the crisp line here so like I it would be really hard for me to do paper but cut the actual roses out individually and then use them as um, dimensional elements elsewhere in um... <laughs> Marcy you are so funny hi winky face back at you um... But yeah, use them as dimensional elements on um, some of the... So this weird lady, I guess she has gears in her head, I guess. Maybe. So steam, yeah, it says steampunk debutante graphic 45. That's what the, graph, the font says. Then we have... A, um, why can't I think of what it's called? Darn it. A ledger book going on on this side. And then one last set here. Some more torture corsets. That's what we're going to call them. Torture corsets. So, yeah. So that's... Oh. I lied. Sorry, y'all. Got this really beautiful green. And then this page. This is going to be hard for me to cut up and use in the mini album. 
but the colors again just gorgeous jump off the page there's that and then we have the front and I would actually cut these out and use parts of these so I mean why not because graphic 45 is not cheap those of you who know know it is not cheap at all and so you're going to use every every little scrap you can out of it so there's all of that and then these came today I picked this up this is for a um, this is a retired collection I'm trying really hard to get all of it but this is for one of the Christmas projects I'm working on um, not steampunk obviously um, themed after the book Little Women one of my favorite books and um, if you are not go to collection quickly Um, Marcy, I don't think I have the Hollywood collection, um, as far as the stamp goes. I do have the entire paper collection to the, the Hollywood collection, but if you don't think you're going to use it, I would love it. Um, give me a call later if you want to, and chat, because we haven't in a while. But, um, so then we have Pages of Little Women is the back of this one. Then we have these beautiful florals, all these gorgeous roses. It's like violets. The colors in this collection are so vibrant. Beautiful, beautiful. I told y'all this was going to be a long one. I do apologize, but I did warn you. So. <clears throat> Got some silhouette cameos going on here. More cut apart, some page borders. So, Sunny being a bad boy. This is really pretty. This might actually be one of my favorite pages right here. Love it, love it. Beautiful green, more cut aparts. No questions, anybody? Like I said, I'm happy to answer. So that's that's that. And then the last collection I have, and that'll be the end of this video. Like I said, I really wanted to get all this out of the way. Um, is this World's Fair collection. This is going to be a mini album for myself, not as a gift. But love the colors in this. with that one the colors in this one kind of sort of clash and I actually like it otherwise I would say no <laughs> so We have all kinds of, I don't know if this is supposed to be tickets. I guess these are different kinds of tickets. Again, guys, this is, I'm, I'm going to stop boring you after this particular collection. I, like I said, just wanted to get it out of the way. I do have more videos coming that won't be as long as this one. This is a really long video. 
This might actually be my favorite one in this collection. I really like it. We have our cut aparts. Be yourself. I completely agree. All right, I like. Nope, this is my favorite. That was kind of a gimme, huh? Love, love, love. Okay. And that's that. So, um, thank y'all for sitting through all of this. I know it was a lot to get through. Um, I've been wanting to show it. I just haven't had time to do like separate videos on top of editing and processing. Honestly, it takes after filming, it takes probably three hours. And that is after I edit it. And it takes, there's a processing from the, the editing software and then YouTube, oh my gosh, sometimes they take anywhere from an hour to two and a half hours just to upload it and then turn around and process it before it even posts to the web. Hence why my videos always go up late at night. And I just, I didn't want to have all this stuff sitting around. I needed to get it put away. So I figured this live would be easier. I will, after we shut down, I will go and try and find links to add below. So if you saw something you like, you can go try and hunt it down yourself. Um, again, you know, going forward on these live videos, ask questions. I'm happy to answer them. If I know the answer, if not, I'll try and hunt them down and respond later. And um, yeah. So that is my collective haul. Now I can put stuff away. Um, those of you who started and stuck through the whole thing, thank you. Um, we had a lot, quite a few come and go. Um, and yeah, so I love you guys. You know, I tell you that all the time. I really mean it. And um, as always, I hope you're having a great week. And happy crafting. Take care. Bye-bye.